the new sales experience streamlines the estimation process, offering speed and precision in creating estimates. By optimizing your workflow, you can produce more proposals, enhancing your chances of securing projects through competitive bids and confident presentations. To get started, navigate to the Settings page in Job Nimbus. Locate and select the Estimate Settings. Estimate layouts can be changed to suit different kinds of estimates you will make, like retail roofing or home repairs. Create a new layout by clicking the Estimate Layout button or edit an existing layout by clicking the pencil icon next to it. When creating a new estimate layout, begin by giving it a descriptive name that reflects its purpose. If you have multiple locations, you can select where this particular estimate layout will be applied. The cover page sets the tone for your client interaction, serving as your first opportunity to impress with professionalism. A visually appealing design not only captures attention, but also reflects the high standards and quality of your work. Most of the content on this page will automatically populate with the job information. For example, you will leave the date and contact details sections blank. Include a primary image to feature as the cover. Leaving it blank will prompt the estimate creator to select an image each time the layout is used. Job photos can be accessed to personalize the proposal for each customer during the estimate building process. The certification or secondary logo is optional, but will appear as a smaller image. This could feature preferred contractor certifications or partner logos. Next, click the Introduction section on the left menu. The Introduction page is a text page where you can introduce your company and provide a summary of what to expect as part of the estimate. It serves as an opportunity to establish credibility and authority with the customer by outlining the proposed work. If you plan to reuse this content for future estimate layouts, be sure to save it as a template. Now, let's create the inspection page of your estimate. Images in your estimate serve as visual references for both customers and your team, detailing the job's condition before and after work. This documentation is invaluable for identifying potential future issues and determining the best course of action moving forward. The inspection page is where your team members upload images of the job and add comments to describe the necessary work. While most content on this page updates dynamically for each job, you can make a few formatting changes in the layout. Next, navigate to the Estimate Details page. The Estimate Details page is where you'll input your line items and personalize the estimate to meet the customer's needs and budget. Here, you can adjust details in various ways to maintain transparency without overwhelming the customer. Utilize sections to organize the document, making it easy for customers to navigate and understand. For instance, you could create sections for labor, insurance details, or different parts of the job, like roof and gutters. To add items, simply begin typing in the text box, and items from your products and services will appear. Once you select an item, the price will automatically populate. The quantity will be added when building the estimate. Click the Add Item button to continue adding products. We suggest adding as many items as necessary for your more complex jobs. It's easier to remove unwanted items or leave a quantity as zero when building an estimate than to add new items later. If you need to add a new item to your price list, name your item and then click the plus button located in the bottom right corner of the text box. The Add Price Detail window will appear. Update the product details as needed, then click Save to add it to the estimate. Add more items and sections as needed. If you intend to use these estimate details again, remember to save them as a template. Homeowners appreciate options when starting home improvement projects. Offering multiple estimates with different materials shows your range and product value. This increases the chance of closing a deal by capturing their interest with options tailored to their needs. A good Better Best estimate provides clear choices, empowering customers to decide based on their preferences and budget. The tabs at the top allow you to create multiple estimates for each job. Click the plus button and a new tab will appear. Click the edit icon next to the page name to change the tab's title. In the new tab, you'll notice a drop-down menu at the top. This lets you easily add the same items from the first estimate, 
along with a description to clarify the differences between the proposals for the customer's understanding. This step is optional. You can choose to build the estimate with all new items if you prefer. Include the additional options as line items, similar to how you did in the first estimate. Next, select the Signing and Upgrades tab. This page of the estimate is where the customer will sign and agree to the outlined work. Here, you can also include any optional project upgrades, which can help you upsell and enhance the project's value, leading to increased margins and higher profits. While most sections on this page are optional, they can enhance your sales experience. At the top of this page is the Disclaimer section. Here, you can include important contract terms or provide instructions to the insurer. The following section allows you to add optional upgrades as previously mentioned. You will add items similarly to how you did on the Estimate Details page, but here, they appear as a checklist for the customer to select the options they prefer. The remaining details on this page are tailored to the specific job and will be included as you create the estimate, based on its unique details. If you would like to add terms and conditions into your layout, click on the Terms and Conditions page. Incorporating terms and conditions into your documentation offers legal protection, clarity, cost transparency, warranty comprehension, and ensures compliance for both you and the client. You have the option to require customers to acknowledge their agreement. By enabling this feature, customers will be prompted to provide their signature, indicating their acceptance of the terms outlined in this section. When creating your terms and conditions, you have two options, Summarize or PDF. Use Summary allows you to utilize the text editor to compose your content. This editor provides the flexibility to incorporate tokens, which populate the document with specific details pertaining to the job or contact. Use PDF will update the page, allowing you to upload a document directly from your device. Next, select the Warranty tab. Enter the warranty details in the text box, outlining your business's warranty terms and conditions. Following is the Thank You Note section, where you can include a brief message expressing gratitude to the customer for their business. Lastly, the Signature area allows you to upload an image of your signature directly onto the document. To include PDF documents or any additional information into your proposal, you can do so by adding a custom page. Your page options consist of Sales PDFs Documents saved in your account, accessible to all users Single-use PDF Upload a document from your device without saving it to your account. Text page. Utilize the built-in text editor to create a simple text-only page. Now that you've customized your estimate layout, remember that you can drag and move pages to suit your preferences and exclude pages that aren't necessary for your layout. And that's a wrap. You've learned how to personalize your estimate layout to match your business style. Whether it's designing a standout cover or including warranty details and optional upgrades, you're now equipped to create professional estimates. Keep in mind, you can always make adjustments down the line. Thanks for joining us.